Next question is from Dr. Stewie Quads. Have you ever had to change your circle in order to improve your mental health and well-being? Oh. Circle of friends? Is that, yeah, that's what be. I'm assuming, yeah. That's, this, is a, this is one of the toughest uh, things that you're gonna, you might have to do in order to improve yourself. Um, I know for people, for example, who have issues with smoking, uh, one and they want to quit. One of the one of the most effective in the studies will show this. One of the most effective things you could do is stop hanging around with smokers, um, and you'll find that mm-hmm. you're less likely to smoke. Um, I used to, you know, I, I've got a lot of cousins, and you, we all used to like to hang out and stuff like that. And I start, I got into my career very early um, in fitness. I was a trainer at 18, 19. I was managing trainers and then gyms, and you know, we were at the, you know, our, our, our teens, early 20s, that's when guy, you know, people like to go out and hang out and party and whatever. And I just, my, my goals and focus were different than theirs. And so I stopped hanging out with them because my focus was on my career and on fitness and managing gyms. And it wouldn't have worked if I kept going out with them and hanging out at the bars and stuff. It just wouldn't have worked. So yeah, I mean, I've done it and you, you have to do it. And, uh, you know, Adam says this all the time. You're the, what is it, the sum total of the What's, five closest the people? Average, I was going to say, you're the average of the five yeah. people that you you hang out with. Here's, I think, I don't think this is a you may have to do. I think everybody, if you're going to continue to grow and evolve, mm-hmm. you will not only have to do this, but you'll probably do this multiple times in mm-hmm. your life. Mm-hmm. Because it, because otherwise, are you really the same person you were when you were 18? The friends that and 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 that's not a knock on on the people that I was hanging out because I still have a love for those people, but as you grow, yeah, as as you continue to grow and push yourself, and if you do believe that you are an average of the people, the five people you hang around the most, that even if you love <clears throat> love that one guy or girl that you you've known since she was fifteen or he was fifteen, and you're now forty. Mm-hmm. Um, but they have some bad habits or, and I'll give you an example of the, for me that the, the last, the last, you know, friend, and, and they, I still consider them a friend. Like I would just talk to him like, uh, about a month ago. Right. So I, when, I think when you, um, you know, change your circle, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to like break up with them. It doesn't need to be this, like, we can't be friends anymore. Cause I've outgrown you. Get like, on a phone with them. Yeah. It's yeah. Dramatic. It doesn't need to be like that. You just ghost them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, easier. Well, I, I mean, the, this friend that I'm, I'm talking about. So I've, I've talked on the show before that I like the sports gamble. Right. So that's like a thing of mine. And, uh, I like anything, uh, th- something like that can turn into a serious addiction and an issue and a problem. I like to think I'm a pretty self-aware person. And so I really, monitor a lot of those things in my life. And I remember a few years back, this is like five five years or so ago back, maybe six. And it was like a, a Tuesday afternoon and I'm ha- I was hanging out a lot with this buddy of mine. And uh, he, him and I were at like a sports bar on a Tuesday and I was betting pretty big money on some, you know, like a, a like a Wizards game versus, uh, I don't even remember who it was, like the like Memphis Grizzlies. I would never even watch that game. Is that a real team? Yeah, those are both real teams. <laughs> Sounds and like a just, Dungeons and Dragons. And I feel like you just made up two teams. <laughs> no, no. And, and, Wizards versus Warlocks. And, <laughs> and, you know, yeah. Basketball. And so I, I remember I had this moment of that, you know, I know that I, and I was like, what the hell am I doing? Gambling this kind of, any money, much less the amount of money I was gambling. Do you want to tell us how much? <laughs> it's, it's now, because I don't want to hear you give me shit. <laughs> it's, it's irrelevant. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely way more than you would ever spend on probably anything for yourself. <laughs> <Okay>. I <know. laughs> so, so anyways, uh, I, and I think I even won, but that wasn't the point. The point was, what am I doing, right? What am I doing here on a Tuesday in a bar, gambling on a game I don't even care about? I've, I, it's now turned into more of an addiction. And I know that that's influenced because of the person I hang out with. Now, I'm in control of my own decisions. He didn't force me to do that. But because I, we're hanging out so much, he does that so much, it's really easy for me to get sucked mm-hmm. in. And that's just I think, one example of how that could be happening in your circle and what I had to do was I had to, to eliminate us hanging out. Doesn't mean I we broke up or I don't still talk to him or ask him how his wife and kids, he just had another baby, how he's doing. Like, But I stopped hanging out with him on a regular basis. And I replaced that with somebody like a Justin or a Sal or a Doug in my life who I think is going to have a better influence on me that I think have other aspects of their life that I aspire to be like or I want in my life. And so that's what you got to continually do, be doing. And if you're always growing, I feel like that circle is always yeah. molding and kind of changing. Yep. Yeah, not really like evaluating uh, that is a disservice to your growth. It's going to limit your growth. 
uh, it's a hard thing to do. It's it's something because it's so comfortable. It's it's you know it already. Like you know you, you're sort of this person around those people too, and so you don't really want to let go of that person either. Oh, yeah. So you Good feel point. like you know like I well I'm funny and or I'm uh, you know it's easy, it's comfortable, uh, you know hanging out because like I can just be myself, quote unquote. But uh, you know if you're really trying to uh, uh, you know strive for change and and become something uh, it, you know greater uh, it's going to require some 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 hard transition and no, so it's, it's it's hard to do that you're totally right you ever do that where you like there's a circle of friends and you kind of you grow you know you outgrow them or whatever you don't you're not around them a lot and then all of a sudden you run into them you hang out and you find yourself yeah, slipping. You like revert back to this weird person. You used yeah, to be. You're like why yeah. am I talking this way? Why am I like doing this kind of stuff? And I, I feel like people who are uh, really into self improvement probably go through this process more often, M- uh, multiple times. Uh, yeah, I, I yeah. totally agree. Mul- I mean, I tr- I try to give you guys something that's the most recent that's happened to me, but this has happened so many times in my life. I mean, my original friends, um, we grew up, we were best friends of mine in high school. And the things that connected to us was competitive sports, and that we just went to the same high school. I mean, but we and partying, like those were the those were like the three main things that we were super bonded by. Mm-hmm. And what happened was, as we all got older, and you're partying less, you're not going to these, you're not playing sports anymore. You have kids now. Yeah, yeah, all this shit starts happening, and then you realize that the things that you guys did with each other, talk shit to each other, put each other down, you know, because you thought it was funny in high school and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And you start to realize, like, geez, I'm a grown ass man now. Like, I don't yeah, want a I friend. Don't need this. Yeah, I don't need a friend who's like. <laughs> <laughs> cut me low every time he sees me or not happy no, for my success. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, but yet you get sucked into it because you have these other bonds with them. Yeah. And a lot of times those bonds are, are are attachments that you have because of mutual insecurities. And until you have the self-awareness to, to see that and recognize that, it's hard to, to break free from this. But if you're going to see continued growth in your life, I, I absolutely agree, Sal. This is not something that's probably going to happen once. It's going to happen several times in your life, and you should probably be seeking that. It is. And I, I, I think the, the people that you'd end up staying close with forever are probably – growers with you mm-hmm. you know what i mean and yeah, they're seeking the same thing yeah they're also growing and they're respecting your growth and you know because people who aren't growers they get threatened by it you know like yeah, what do you mean showers. yeah what do you mean you're not gonna <laughs> you're not gonna come hang out you know and do this at you know midnight or whatever you know and you're like well i'm a dad now or whatever and they won't respect that and you can tell that they're not respecting oh yeah they give you shit for it right. instead of going like oh being happy exactly for you. Right. so you know i personally i like to surround myself now as i'm older i like to be with other growers even if i have have less in common with them because mm-hmm. if we have that in common, we build a bond that could last forever. And I find myself when I hang out like with you guys, like the, you know, when we started Mind Pump, I'll tell you what, I grew more in the last five years oh, yeah. than I did in the previous, I don't know, Same. how many, because everybody here is, is such a grower that it, it makes me do the same thing. And that's, that's our bond. I mean, the, the truth is I don't have a whole lot besides working out and fitness in common with, uh, with, uh, you know, all you guys. But one thing we have in common is we, we tend to want to be growers and so I'd say if you want to find a circle that'll stick around, you probably want to find another circle of people who prioritize uh, yeah, and the beauty, self-improvement. The beauty of that is mm-hmm. that it will uh, accelerate so much good in your life uh, when, you, when you find that. When oh, you yeah. find that. The, Absolutely. Because those people that are like that, they're going to they'll pick you up when you're down and encourage you when, when things aren't going well, celebrate your victories. Yeah. like Mourn your losses. Yeah, no, 100%. So, uh, That's how, I mean, Justin, when we first met, he's like, hey, Sal, are you a grower? And I was like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Show me. Yeah, show me. <laughs> 